Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Carmen with Elemental Designs and we are here for another week. This is week number four of the Metals in Love a YouTube Hop. Also in collaboration with this hop is the Love is in the Air YouTube Hop. Myself as well as Isa, um, Crafting with Isabel Lavori. We're hosting both of the hops. Um, pretty much it's the same hop because it's Valentine's theme, but you get the option of doing them either in a steampunk style or in another, in another style. So, all the participants are going to be listed down below. Definitely make sure that you check them out. Uh, in this hop, we have Crafting with Isabel Lavori, who is co-hosting with me. We also have New York Freestyles at all. We have Crafts and More with Donna Jackson. We have Creative Moments with Dorinda. We have Judy Evans Parker, Crafting with Ivy, and Deb Hawks, Crafty Cottage. So, definitely make sure that you check them out. All the links are down below. There's going to be giveaways, um, you know, on some of the channels. So, definitely make sure that you check it out and you follow their instructions. Okay, so now that I said all that, let's get on with what today's prompt was, which was a three inch brush. Um, and I chose an angular brush to do mine in um, because of the way that I wanted to kind of set it up. So this is what I made, you guys. Oh my goodness. I love it. This is my very, very first um, altered brush. Um, and what I did to this um, pretty much is I took, um, I have went to Hobby Lobby and I bought a pack of trim. Uh, I shared that with you guys. It was kind of falling apart. So what I did is I just finished this mantling and I took all the different pieces, um, all the different pieces. Um, out of here, you know, it was one of those balances that has like the little, um, you know, those little curl things in the bottom. They're kind of wavy like that. Um, so there was a whole bunch of fibers, right? Um, so I took all those fibers and I kind of straightened them out as much as I could. Um, I folded them in half. And then on the straightest end, I cut it. And then I glued one half here, and then I glued the other half on the back. So that's why it's kind of straighter up here, um, and it's kind of tangled and mangled uh, towards the bottom. I didn't do much with the back because this is going to be on a wall, so there's no reason to pretty much go crazy decorating the back and using up your precious little bits and pieces, right? So I didn't do the back. I did paint it, though, um, and it is gessoed, but um, I didn't do much else. So... To this, I added a whole bunch of wood, uh, wooden elements, um, and pretty much my metal aspect is the fact that I painted it in metallic colors. I didn't really use much metals besides the little leaves, um, a few little things here and there. So we have the word moments. Again, this is a Valentine's theme, love theme, and pretty much, you know, the word moments says it all. Those moments of pure bliss, pure joy. We have the heart with a little um, keyhole there. Okay, I did not put a key in here because they already have the key. So there's no need to put a key in here. So I put, I mounted that onto the heart. Um, these are just bits and pieces of stuff that I had in my little, kind of like a little box that I have full of knickknacks and just bits and pieces. You guys have seen it a few times. Um, these gears here are the ones that I just got from Hobby Lobby. Um, they're from this brand here, Woodpile. And it brings 37 gears, 36 gears and six styles, and it was $2.99. Um, you can get it on sale, and sometimes if you use their coup the coupon, you can get it for 40% off. Um, so to the top of that, I added these little flat back um, enamel dots that I had. I had them in different sizes. So I just kind of mounted them onto the gears, um, on top of the gears, to kind of make it look like buttons or um, make it look like the tops of, like, screws or something like that, or, like, the little rivets. So... Pretty much that's what I did. Um, I added uh, some metal pieces here. These little metal leaves that you see um, peeking out from the heart, from the back of the gears and the front, um, and where the bird cage is here in the bottom. Those are from bbcrafts.com. Okay, I'll make sure to leave a link down below. Definitely, if you haven't seen that BB Crafts haul that I got from them, check it out. Um, there's some awesome, awesome goodies there, and they got really good prices and deals. So definitely check that out. So I wanted my brush to look, you know, longer. So um, once I added that, that kind of gave me the basis for like cascading everything else coming down. Um, and it's nice and stiff because everything was gessoed and hot glued as much as I possibly could. Um, and I, you know, compressed it. And it's kind of stiff. Um, it has a little bit of motion to it. You guys can see a little bit of motion, but not, nothing too, too major. Um, but I really do love the way that this came out overall. And I still have the little opening there so that I can thread it through and kind of hang it. Um, 
you can pretty much display it sideways if you want I mean the bird is kind of but you can almost get away with displaying it sideways not the other side obviously because it'll be upside down I'm just showing you guys <laughs> from different angles um, so this is more or less what it looks like so it's almost like you know how the, how the brush would open itself up once it hits the surface um, so it's kind of opened up and then it kind of comes out to a peak um, and then the back is just kind of gessoed and um, it's gessoed and I added brass, burnished brass that's nice I had it out here somewhere okay I must have put it away oh no here it is yeah um, I painted over it with nope this is gold rush but it's burnished brass I picked the same one up twice. <laughs> Anywho, but it's burnished brass and it's by this um brand, Deco Art Metallic Luster, and it's called Burnished Brass. So I did um went over that with burnished brass. I did spray this down with um Deco Art Media Misters, which is an acrylic based um spray which is permanent. So I sprayed it down first and got it all covered in black and once it dried up, then I went into it with um the burnished brass. That's what it is in the back. In the front, we have a few different things going on as far as color is concerned. Um, because I did use some of the new inks that I purchased at Hobby Lobby. I used um, copper, a um, little bit of iridescent orchid, and these are the Dr. P.H. Martin's um, calligraphy inks. But I dropped them suckers everywhere. <laughs> I put it everywhere. I did add a little bit of green. You can't really see it in the in the camera itself, but you can see it when it's up close. And this one's iridescent green. Um, some nickel, which is like their kind of like brownish color. So that's more or less what I did with that. And then just to top it off and finish it off, um, I did go in with some of this glitter glue. This is um, a glitter glue that I purchased at Family Dollar, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so I did go into with some of this glitter glue, and it does have. Um, a little bit of a shimmer you guys can see the little sparkles and then when you see it up close you can see the hints of blue hopefully the camera picks it up but the little hints of blue that are in there are from uh, the glitter glue so this is my altered brush you guys I hope that you like what I have created um, definitely let me know what is your favorite part um, about today's video about this project um, if you want to be entered into the giveaway at the end of this hop okay you guys thank you all so so much for watching i hope that you have enjoyed please make sure that you go ahead and hop along to the next one in the list the list is down below and i will catch you guys on the next one and the next one is going to be amazing i'm so excited all right you guys bye